Hello, it is Friday, September 7th, 2012 at 2.33 a.m. Central Time. And we've had some storms up here in northwest Iowa. You can see them rising up right here. Um, they're actually pretty intense lightning storms. Um, you can see it's, it's white in the middle here, so it's way up at the top of the scale here on the DBZs. We're almost at the top. And anyway, what I wanted to show you was, notice that this is Minneapolis. And you'll see beams coming out of Minneapolis. This is a wind farm right here. Notice that there's waves coming through Sioux Falls, which is right here. And then also we have harp rings. Um, here's Omaha. There's an outer ring here around Omaha. Sioux Falls, there's an outer ring right in here. And what happens when they overlap, they cancel each other out when, when, the, harp <laughs> when the harp is running. Um, and then this one's Minneapolis, this one's coming out of La Crosse. See it? This is, these are all Dopplers right here. And this is coming out of the Quad Cities. And notice how these are rising up. This one rises right up out of the river here between South Dakota and Iowa. I'm going to let it go through again here. And then we also have some right here. Looks like Omaha out of Omaha and probably Topeka. Let's go look at a wider view here. Yeah, looks like it's coming out of Topeka, Kansas. You can barely see it there. But there's actually a couple of places where we've got um, storms just rising up. What I wanted really to focus on was this area right here. This is the Sioux Falls radar, the next rad. And you can see that it, see how these dotted lines come out? That's actually some, something going around in a circular pattern. And you can see two waves approach Sioux Falls right now. And you can see a beam just came out of Minneapolis. This wind farm lights up, and right at that time, we get something that comes right out of the river. And then there's a secondary one that comes. I'm hoping this first one. Notice that here's a highway. Right here, this light blue. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a flat spot on the river right here. That's where the first storm rises up. It should rise up. There it is, right there. Right after the um, Terminator beam went through, that solid beam that came. Actually, I'm going to go up here and stop it. When it about comes through again. Also notice this purpley color around here. There's the blue, that's normal, but the purple is usually a sign of harp also. I'm watching for this. There it comes. Oops, stop. Gotta go back. And the cloud back to the river. And notice right here is the river. There's a little flat spot right here. And then here's the terminator beam right here. And we're looking at, let's see if the time shows. No, we're not getting our time stamps not showing still. Well, I can show right here. So it's September 7th, 2012 at 47, 00.47 universal time. And we'll be going, I'm going to bring you to this location, but in the meantime, I want to show you where the second cloud rises up. And that's right there. And that's coming right here. So if you, if you look at, you've got a county here and a county here and a county here and a county here. So second one down, second one down, and where they overlap, right in here. I'll let this play through. Whoops, let's go forward. Let's go to over to Google Earth, and here's where that road curved that I showed you, and here's the flat part of the river right here. And when I go in here, there's a little town called Fairview. Actually, this is my neck of the woods, so I've been in these towns. And what I found that was interesting is we have a railroad trestle going over the river. And that might not seem like much, except for... We have a, the same situation where the second cloud rises up. 
I have to zoom out a little bit so that I can go down there. Let's see. It's right here. Here's where that one county comes in, and here's the one coming in from Iowa, and that's right by Haywarden that that second cloud rises up. And lo and behold, I didn't know that actually that there was a train trestle right there, but you can see it right here clearly. So I've suspected for a while there's something to do with two railroad tracks, you know, a positive and a negative charge, or the charges can run up the, the, the metal um, rails. And I don't know how it works, but it is interesting that both of those clouds come up at a place where the railroad trestle goes over the river. So anyway, there you have it. God bless you. Have a good rest of the evening.